Hi, my name is Sarah Phillips, and I'm running for school committee, Ward 3. Four things motivated me to get into the race this year. First, I am a mother. I have a daughter in second grade at the Argenziano and a son who will be in the public schools soon. I want the best for my kids and for all our kids. Second, I am an activist. My mother helped start one of the oldest women's centers in the country, and some of my earliest memories involve skating away for the ERA, the Equal Rights Amendment, and marching to take back the night. My mother taught me to see injustice and to fight for my values, and I learned to organize through summer internships with ACORN and AFSCME. Here in Somerville, I helped stop a charter school in 2012. I helped get preschool classrooms in many of our elementary schools. I was a member of the city's child and youth study team, and most recently, I led a campaign to get my son's daycare reopened when the state unfairly shut it down. To me, serving on the school committee is an extension of this work. Third, while getting a PhD in social policy, I won a fellowship from Harvard to work in state government at the Executive Office of Education. I was shocked to learn that no one on the policy team believed teachers needed unions. When I was a teacher, I had 37 students in my seventh grade class. I know that school administrators often make decisions that are in the best interest of the system, not our kids. I want policymakers who understand that teachers' unions are part of the solution, not the problem. Lastly, I'm motivated to run for school committee because this is the work I do professionally. Like most of our current school committee members, I have direct classroom experience. I started my career teaching English as a second language in the Oakland Public Schools and went on to teach reading in the county's juvenile hall. I left the classroom because I realized that even if I were the best teacher in the world, the system would still fail my kids. I became a social worker because I wanted to change the system and spent the next chunk of my career building bridges between schools and their communities. Since getting my PhD, I have worked with districts like the Pittsburgh Public Schools and the Washington DC Public Schools on many of the issues we are grappling with here. I am an expert in social and emotional learning and school climate, and my own research shows that when students believe their school is racist, sexist, and homophobic, their sense of belonging, their attendance, and their behavior suffers. If elected, I would be the only social worker on the school committee, and I am honored to be endorsed by the National Association of Social Workers Political Action Committee in addition to the Massachusetts Women's Political Caucus. Don't get me wrong. I think our schools are moving in the right direction. The past two budgets have made investments in many of the right things, and I am excited by the equity policy our next school, school committee will pass. But there is still more work to be done. First, we say we want to pre prepare all students for rigorous course taking in high school, but we're not giving our K-8 teachers the resources they need to meet the academic needs of our diverse student body. I want to see us hire more push-in teachers or other adults to work with small groups of students in the classroom. Second, we know that children can't learn when they're hungry, when they're afraid of getting evicted or deported. I want us to wrap social services around every family that needs them, not just families with children zero to five. Third, we know that wealthy families are investing tons of their resources in enrichment activities for their kids and that this investment is exacerbating socioeconomic achievement gaps. I want to see us work with the city to develop a high quality, accessible, affordable, out of school time system. Fourth, like everywhere around the country, Somerville has seen a rise in incidents of intolerance. Just this past year, white kids at the high school planned a make prom great event. Fifth graders at the Kennedy had a kick a Jew day. If we truly value diversity, then we need to put a stop to this. If elected, I would fight for a restorative justice program at the high school and a community building and anti-bias curriculum K-12. I would also push the superintendent to better prepare and evaluate her staff on their ability to productively address incidents of hate and intolerance when they occur. I am running for school committee because I want to use my skills to make progress on these issues and more, but I can't do it alone. That's why I'm asking for your support and your vote for Ward 3 School Committee. Together, we can go above and beyond for all our kids.